we're going to go off to the glass house. I'm not sure what the difference is between a glass house and a greenhouse, but apparently this is a glass house. It's made by Griffin Glass Houses of Hampshire and we've started making it just the way we want it to maximise the growing opportunities both for flowers and for fruit and vegetables. So if you come in to the space, I'm going to close the door to keep away the wind. First of all, you can see that it's got two trays, one on each side and a potting shelf. The really clever thing about these trays is that they've got heated beds here that are fully automated, one on each side. That means we can control the temperature very carefully down to the last point of a degree to aid germination for as many plants as possible. If we walk over here, you can see I've got some cornflowers and some poppy coral reef, which are going to look fantastic. Once they've started coming up, I'll put them in the cold frames outside just to acclimatise and I'll plant them out next spring. Things I love about this glass house, the ability to pump and collect rainwater. And then if we walk over here, you can see that a little raspberry pie connected to the automation system is monitoring the humidity, at the temperature and uh, the atmospheric pressure and moderating the temperature of the heated beds as we go. So, time to get on with stuff. There you go.